Matt Underwood, Rick Manning, and of course we're joined now by uh, Mike Hargrove, who was here when this ballpark was open in 1994. Rick and I were showing some of the highlights from that very first game, and I mean that was a roller coaster ride of a game. You think? <laughs> <laughs> Went from total panic to, 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 to total joy. So it was, uh, yeah, it was a lot of fun. That was a special day. Can you believe it's been 20 years already? You know, somebody asked me that the other day, Arch, and I, and, and I told him, I said, you, you know, it's obviously time goes fast. But this ballpark has really aged well. Yeah, I, mean, it I agree. It doesn't look 20 years old, and and uh, you know I had to count back when they said the 20th year, and I had to count back to make sure they weren't lying to me. But uh, yeah, it's a it's a it's a good ballpark. Murphy slowly chopped up the middle, but the shortstop Florimo in there to throw him out, one down. I'll bring up Jan Gomes. You know, you think back to that first game. And you talk about how it went from total panic to total jubilation. You got Randy Johnson out there at that point in time. He was just about at the apex of his career throwing a no hitter. And you probably were thinking to yourself this isn't the way we want to open the ballpark. You know I had two thoughts in my mind. Gosh we've got to get a hit. And second of all I'm sure I was glad I wasn't having to do the hitting. Yeah right. <laughs> He's nasty. Yes, he he was. was nasty. Well I'll tell you it ended in a way that so many games did when you were here managing you know walk off fashion in the bottom half of the inning and. It seemed like it was year after year and game after game that that used to happen here. That used to be the Jacobs Field magic, wasn't it? Well, it did, yeah. And, and uh, you know, the, the, the guys finally convinced me that there was something special going on when, when David Cohn came in with Toronto and was head of us. Eight, eight, nothing. eight nothing in the second inning, and we came back and beat him. Uh, yeah. That, that uh, I, I kind of started believing that. Yeah, Paul Sorrento hit that home run in uh -huh. right field. Yeah. I can remember it well. Jan Gomes bangs it to third. Trevor Plouffe throws him out, two down. Mike, do you? Did you even know what a walk-off win was? Did they even call them walk-off wins back in the mid-90s yet? I don't know. We did a lot of walking off. <laughs> so, I, you know, I don't, I don't remember. Uh, I, I really don't remember, you know, them paying attention. I know that we started, you know, the head banging they do at the plate nowadays. Yeah, that was, right. Yeah. Our guy started that. In fact, as I told him, I said, you know, you might want to key that down just a tad. <laughs> yeah. You know, somebody came out of going yeah, on back then. Bloody noses and broken necks. <laughs> That was game one, the highlight, Sandy's first hit, and then Kirby getting the game winner. You know, the thing that struck me earlier today, Mike, uh, Jason Kipnis, Michael Brantley, guys who signed long-term contracts, were talking about the fact that other players are coming up to them now and saying, man, we watch you guys. You guys are having fun. We can tell you're having fun. I know we, we don't want to compare any team uh, to those mid-'90s teams. But that's the way that team played. They had a lot of fun, but they took care of their business. Yeah, they did take care of their business. And, and, and we we heard the same thing at the end of the 93 season. I had a lot, of, I say a lot, you know, I had two or three managers and, and four or five opposing players uh, come up to me and and, uh, and talk about the, the uh, fact that, that uh, we had a good ball club and, and look for us to, to be tough to beat in the future. So it was, it was cool. Thanks a lot for stopping by. Appreciate My it. Mike Hargrove, former tribe skipper, as the